Hi, let's see how Coco plugin works. Coco is your color coworker in editing workflow with Adobe After Effects. Coco has several different parts. Let's review the color palette, color gradient, brand color, image color palette, solid color, contrast check and amp, color blind. Well, let's start with the first and more useful part called color palettes. Here we have more than thousands of beautiful pre-made palettes for you. Simply select the layer and apply any color with one click. Let's do it together again. You can easily search for a specific color and find similar color palettes. Also, you can simply import your own colors and make a palette for yourself. You can edit them or add them to the library section. Now I want to add them to my library section and I can edit them from the library section. A great part that works even better than After Effects Color Picker is Coco's Handy Color Picker. Colors are separated by RGB, red, green, and blue. You can also use hue and lightness. After you have saved your color, the color will be added here. You can also change the name of your palette or add a new color and change it very easily. You can also see the color live. After pressing the update button, it is saved in the library. Now you can easily select the layer and just one click to change the color and apply on your layer. Now let's see more. There are two ways to go to the next section, either from the drop-down menu or by clicking on the word Coco. You can return to the main page. Here I want to use color gradients. As you can see, color gradients. There are thousands of beautiful hand-picked gradient colors which we have prepared for you. Just click on the layer you want, hit the three dots, and hit the import button. Done. It's really simple. You can also apply it on a text or any other layer you have. And you can also select your layer and go to the effect control section and change the direction of gradient from left to right, top to bottom. Now I changed it from left to right as you can see. Again, you can edit it and add your custom color and save it to the library. In the library, you can find that gradient and as you see, the colors are updated and we can apply it on the layer with a simple click. Let's see the next feature, the Image Palette Extractor. Now I select an example image to extract the color palette from it. To get an example image, I use the Stock Search Pro plugin which you can download from eScripts.com. Here I search yellow to find some images that have some yellow palettes. OK. Simply we can download it. Now let's upload the photo to Image Palette Extractor and let's see the results. Now let's search for another image and download it and then upload it. As you see, the palette is generated with lots of colors. Let's edit it. Now I can remove some colors or add new colors or change the name. Well, let's go to the color brand section. In this section, we gather the most popular brand colors. For example, I search YouTube. Now I need to select the layer. I can apply the color to my layer. Let's add this to the library. Let's go to the library and see what is there. All palettes are here and saved for further use. In the contrast check section, you can compare two colors and see if they have a good level of contrast to use and make sure they have enough accessibility grade. As you see, the default colors have lots of errors, so these two colors do not have a good contrast ratio to use together. Now I change one of the colors and as you see, errors decreased.
As you can see, some of the checks that were failed now passed. So these two colors are better to use together. We can apply these colors to our layer and it's pretty better now. The solid color section has lots of beautiful and trendy colors which help you with any project color idea inspiration. I search green and it brings me the colors that have a green base then I can apply them with one click. Or save them to the library. The last part is the colorblind simulation. As you know there are lots of people that are suffering from some type of colorblindness that means they don't see colors like how we see. You can select one of these colorblindness types and hit the generate button to see it. As you see colors are changed so we can make sure that people with this kind of disability can see well too. If you want to generate another colorblind type you need to remove the adjustment layer and try again. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the Coco plugin.